With the assault rifles being the most dominant weapons in the game, I'm going to show you guys a submachine gun class to help you compete with them. Yo, what is going on everybody? My name is Connor, but you guys can call me Superior. And since I've been playing Call of Duty Advanced Warfare, I noticed one major thing about the game that I didn't really like. And that was that how pretty much every single person was running around the map with the assault rifle. Whether it be the BAL, the AK, the HBR, whatever it be. Um, every single person was running around with the assault rifle, so um, I kind of set out on a mission to find a submachine gun class that could compete with it, if not do even better than an assault rifle could, and uh, this was the class that I came up with. Now, the gameplay you're going to be watching is just running around with some domination with the exact class, and the class that will be popping up on your screen right now, you see it as an ASM-1. Um, it is a professional version of it, but you don't have to have the professional version. It could just be the normal, um, like, not supply dropped one, but the professional one does help. And I have rapid fire, foregrip, and advanced rifling. Now, rap or rapid fire because this gun shoots pretty slow stock. And um, just throwing the rapid fire on it, having it shoot a few extra bullets um, in like a second really does help. And you win a lot of gunfights with it. Now, next is the foregrip because uh, the rapid fire can really screw up your recoil and just make your aim absolutely off if you don't have something like control freaks or just something to help you aim better. You know, grip is your best friend. And then I have advanced rifling because it's a submachine gun and in a game full of ARs, you're going to get into a lot of long range engagement. So you definitely need the advanced rifling um, just to help you win those long range gunfights because Lord knows uh, an ASM-1 versus a BAL at long range, you know, you're going to need every single upper hand you can get in order to win that gunfight. Now the perks I have low profile on, just because with the support UAVs of this game, everyone has a UAV pretty much 24-7. So having low profile keeps you off the radar and that is huge. And then I don't have a perk 2 because all the perk 2s are pretty much useless. You know, there's not really too many people calling any other kill streaks that you need blind eye for or fast hands and everything is just, I don't know, you can do without a perk 2. And then perk 3, I have toughness because when you're getting shot, you don't want to like, you want to have the upper hand. I know I said in my previous video that you don't need it. But um, when you're in long range gunfights, you need it, especially when you're using a submachine gun. Now next I have Blast Suppressor because with all the exo movement and all the jumps and stuff that you do in this game, especially with the submachine gun, um, you know, Blast Suppressor keeps you off the radar whenever you double jump or anything like that. So that really does help out a lot. I don't have a secondary except for a combat knife just because, you know, you're not really going to use it that much, as much as you would a perk or something like that. And for the exo ability, I have exo overclock because that helps you run around a lot faster. When you have a submachine gun and you can run even faster, you know, that could be really deadly if you're playing the objective or anything like that. I do have a frag grenade. I was debating between taking off the frag grenade and putting on a secondary or perk 2 or whatever. That You guys can kind of play around with that if you want a frag grenade or not. And then for the U or the score streaks, I have a UAV with support and extra assist because the extra assist help you get your next score streak faster. And then the support, even if you die and you're playing the objective, you can still get it. And then I do have the remote turret with support. A lot of people didn't know you can use support on the remote turret, so definitely put on support. And then even if you die, you can still get it the next life. And I also do have the sentry feature, so I don't have to remotely control it you know it just kind of does a sentry gun on its own so that that is really helpful and i recommend you guys try out this class because it is a great class it is pretty much the only class um that even competes at least in my opinion uh with the bal and all those other assault rifles because this game has a lot of long range of sights and a lot of fast movement so if you can take advantage of that uh with your submachine gun and then you should be good to go so subscribe for more advanced warfare content guys i do hope you guys enjoyed this video leave a like if you guys did enjoy I'll catch you guys in another video. Have a fantastic day, everyone. Peace.